Bringing our focus to this developing story from Bhivandi, where a three-story building has collapsed and six people are said to have uh, lost their lives. Five more are feared trapped. The NDRF team is now at this spot for the rescue operation. Sindhu also reporting live on this story for us. Sindhu, what do we know about the reasons uh, for this building collapse? <laughs> Yes, uh, the building that is here uh, is a ground plus two structure in Bhivandi area in Thane district near Mumbai. The building was a dilapidated building. The notice had been given to the building by the authorities around a few months ago, telling the uh, tenants of the building to vacate it immediately. In fact, one family had vacated the building yesterday. Today at around 9-10 a.m. the building collapsed. Half of the building collapsed here and uh, 14 people have been rescued so far. They have been taken to the civil hospital in Thane and uh, six people we can confirm now have lost their lives. According to the police on ground, two more people are trapped inside the debris. Uh, one more uh, tenant of the building was rescued just a few minutes ago. However, we cannot confirm right now if that tenant was dead or alive. Right now, the locals here and the fire brigade are carrying out the rescue work. The NDRF has also been called in. However, they are still on the way and yet to reach the spot to join in in the rescue efforts. Okay, and, and Sindhu, we actually do see a lot of melee of people. Now, considering that this is still an active site, you know, th there is still a lot of rubble around. Why should so many people be allowed even inside uh, right there at this spot? Well, the people that are there at the spot are mo mostly localites. Uh, this is a very congested area and people are mostly here volunteering to help. In fact, a huge part uh, around the uh, this neighborhood has been cordoned off. People are not being allowed even on the main road for at least 500, me no, 500 meters radius around the building. These people who we can see here near the building are volunteers who are trying to help out when people are being rescued from under the debris. They okay. are bringing in the stretchers and taking them in the ambulance and you can see that it is a very congested area and since NDRF has not come in yet they are taking some time to reach to the spot uh, they, the fire brigade and the police needs all the help that they can get from the locals to manage the crowd and to make sure that other people from this neighborhood are safe and that people stuck under the debris are rescued properly also they also need to uh, be in touch in constant touch with the people who are from this neighborhood to know how many people were living mm. in the building how many people had located to get a proper count of how many could still be trapped inside.